everyone, Kaylee, your friendly neighborhood hairstylist here, and what's this? Oh my goodness, my hair is long? How? We're gonna talk about it. Now you guys know I recently cut my hair much shorter and I have occasionally been playing around with long hair again in my videos and obviously there were a lot of questions about it. <laughs> so I want to answer your questions about how I apply my clip-in hair extensions with short hair and show you a couple little hairstyles that you can wear with it because you know if you're picking out some hair extensions I'm assuming you also want to wear them for some cute little occasions and I got you. If you follow me for a while you also know that I don't really endorse a whole lot of different hair extension companies. I'm very picky about it and I found a new one that has my heart. <laughs> It's called Beyond Hair. It's a new hair extension company and they are sponsoring this video because I love them. <laughs> I was really excited to finally find somebody that I really believed in and wanted to work with and I'm excited to show you guys why I think they're that great. So that being said, let's talk about some clip-in hair extensions. Okie dokie, so let's talk about the extensions that I'm going to use today. These are from a new brand called Beyond Hair. This is how they come. You get them in a wonderfully sturdy box that you can use for storing them when you're not wearing them. You have this little dude down here with a tester to make sure that you like the color and the length before you fully commit. And then you have the rest of them up here. So Beyond Hair actually has three lengths that you can choose from and three grades of hair, which is very cool. So the ones that I have today are the Select and they are in the 16 inch length. And this is them. I have washed them, I have worn them, I have styled them, and they look so beautiful. I love. Before I put them in, let me just compare these two hair extensions. <laughs> this is a brand that I've used and loved in the past. It's not bad quality, but if you compare the quality of the two, it's night and day. Like you've got so much more shine here. The texture is so much more true to normal hair. And they also do multi-tonal shades, so everything has kind of like a natural highlight, low light going on versus kind of a more flat, kind of fake looking extension. They also have a lot of unique things built into the way they do their hair extensions that I think set them apart from everyone else and I will show you that as I put them on. To put these in, I'm gonna use the instructions that come on the card with a little bit of a caveat because I have a bob. <laughs> because the ends of my hair are kind of heavy, when I add in extensions, you're still gonna have that weight unless you take some weight out. So the way I'm gonna do that is by sectioning my hair, leaving just the nape of my neck and a little bit of hair over my ears down. And I'm gonna braid that down to my head, just doing a Dutch braid from the ear to the center on each side. And then pinning those braids against my head. Now, if the braiding sounds too hard, <laughs> you can put your hair in a ponytail and then just pin that hair against your head. You can make a little tiny bun, whatever you wanna do. Basically, you just have to get that hair out of the way. Let me just let the top down so I can show you the difference that makes. This is now a lot lighter. There's not as much heaviness, which means it's gonna be a lot easier to blend. Hypothetically, if you have thinner, finer hair, you could skip pinning up the hair if you need to. And just as a reminder, if your hair is longer and layered and all that kind of stuff, you don't have to worry about pinning the nape of your hair up. This is literally just like a short hair trick that is very helpful. <laughs> now that I've showed you, let's put the hair back up and put in some extensions. So the first thing we're doing is putting in the two six inch wefts at the nape of my neck. One of the cool things I would like to point out about Beyond is that they have a patent pending system with their clip-ins. One of the parts of the patent is the clips. They have different sizes for each part of your head. So it utilizes your hair. It takes into account how fragile the hair might be in a certain area, but also fits super duper comfortably. So these clips are a little bit larger, which allow for a really secure hold at the nape of your neck. And with that step, we've basically transformed the nape section of the hair. So it's gone from being, you know, kind of this choppy short thing to being a nice long base for the rest of our hair. So we're gonna let this down. And then you're gonna part it one inch up from the last weft that we did, and we're gonna add in another one. <laughs> And when you're putting in hair extensions, it is a good idea to tease the base of the hair to give the extension something to hold on to, especially if you have silkier or finer hair. I didn't do that with the first two because the hair was braided into place, but now we're gonna start teasing a little bit. And now we're going in with the eight inch width. This one is the longest one, and this area on your head is also kind of the longest to take up. It's all really formulated around the shape of your head, and it's really helpful to follow the card because it's already figured it out for you. Another cool part of the patent pending process they have going on are these super flat bands 
I super love them because they lay really, really flat. Even if they're not seamless, they are much flatter than your classic uh, traditional extensions, which means that I can utilize them a lot farther up on my head and they're very undetectable. And these are super comfortable. I don't know if it's the shape of the clips or the band or whatever, but they're so comfortable to wear, it's insane. And now we just have one more weft in the back, so I'm going to section my hair one inch up again, tease, and apply that final weft. So those are the back wefts applied and you can tell in the front I'm still missing a little bit here. We've got three wefts on each side to apply in the front and then we're done. So you know how I said the clips are different for each part of your head? These are the ones for up near your hairline. They're a lot smaller and gentler because this hair is a little smaller and gentler. <laughs> the final thing that I just oh, love about these is that they are naturally layered. So the ends are already tapered for you, so that's gonna look more natural. But they've also encountered for where these wefts are going to sit on your head and layered them accordingly. So you shouldn't need to take them into your hairstylist to get them layered. I mean, that was a selling point for me. I put in the 20 inch ones when my hair was still long and I was like, who is she? These are perfect. Normally I have to like trim and cut. Mm -mm. It's like my favorite thing about these. <laughs> and now for the front, we have a one clip, a three clip, and a one clip on each side. First one goes over the braid to replace the hair that we hid. And you can see that my root color is different from the extension color. You could either go into your hairstylist and have them root it for you, or you could use a gray cover powder or spray to just make this blend with the rest of your hair. And that's a really easy temporary thing you can do, which I recommend the most because A, it's cheap and easy, but also you can wash it out and change how far up or down the root is based on your own root situation. So I, I very much enjoy doing that when I'm fully going for it. I mean, I haven't even styled it yet. Are you kidding me? That's good, right? <laughs> And that is my application process on short hair. I haven't even touched this yet and I feel like it already looks really great and really blended. I'm just really excited about it. But if you are going to wear these out and you are going from short to long like I am, putting some styling into it with either a straightener or a curling iron, even your blow dryer or whatever, is gonna be really key because you want everything to meld together seamlessly. So you know, if I was going straight, I might just you know use a straightener and Make sure everything was nice and groomed. And I mean, I'd be good to go. Casual long hair, Saturday, Friday, Tuesday, whatever. But y'all, it's me. You know I'm gonna curl it, right? I'm gonna curl it. <laughs> so I'm gonna go in sections like I normally would with my hair and curl it all together. Just doing like a really basic curling away from my face with a one inch curling iron like I usually do. <laughs> And that's how I transition my hair from short to long. I feel like it's actually quite easy once you get the hang of it. And I think the blend is super duper good. So I really like it. If you are looking to do something similar, I do recommend Beyond. Just first of all, the hair and the quality is super good, but I like all the things that make it unique that are patent pending about it. It really does set them apart from everything else I've tried, so really good. But now that you have some full on mermaid hair, let's talk about some hairstyles that you can wear with it. For this hairstyle, we're basically just making three braids. <laughs> First, you're gonna take a large section on one side of your head and braid it all the way down and secure it with an elastic. And then if you want some more volume, you can pull the braid apart. I mean, is that not already just so happy? Oh, braids and waves, it's just me all day long, <laughs> braids and waves. And now you're gonna repeat the same thing on the other side. Now you're gonna pull the two braids to the back and you're going to feed one through the other so they kind of connect in the back without having to use any elastics or anything like that. But if you want, you can bobby pin that in place if you're afraid that it's gonna like slip and fall out, which, you know, 
is understandable. And now you're just gonna pick up one more piece of hair next to those two braids and braid the two braids and that new piece of hair together in a new three strand braid. And then secure it at the end and pull it apart if you want. Additionally, if you can get to them, you can pull out the old elastics from the first two braids. And then to make everything look more polished, I'm going to use a little hair beater or you could use a topsy tail to wrap some hair around the elastic. And once that's done, this hairstyle is complete. So I mean, it's always fun to have a braided hairstyle that you can throw in, but this one is particularly great for special occasions and for helping to blend any shorter layers when you're getting used to putting hair extensions onto shorter hair. So you have a mermaid option, you have a braided option. Let's just do a cute, easy, classic option. <laughs> You're going to use your fingers to rake back the hair from your temples up, pull that into an elastic. And you can leave the hair around your face down or pull it back depending on what you like. Then you're gonna use your thumb and forefinger to loosen up the hair over the elastic to give a little bit more dimension and volume. Now with the ponytail that we have going on, you're going to twist it loosely and then grab a teeny tiny piece at the end and scrunch the rest of the hair up, which is gonna create this really big voluminous twist. You're gonna wrap that into the shape of a bun and pin it to death, <laughs> just to make sure it stays. And once you've done that, this hairstyle's done. And there you go, there is another very easy, very classic option that you can do with some hair extensions. Okay, wow, that was a lot about extensions. It's how I blend them with my short hair so I can pretend like I still have long hair when I want to. I'm also really glad I got to introduce you to Beyond Hair Extensions. You can shop them right now with the link in my description box if you want to. I do really love them. That's why I went so hard talking about them today because they really are that good. Also, this hair is nicer than my own hair, so it's kind of nice to have long hair again and have it be like healthier than the long hair I used to have. But you know, just in general, extensions are fun to play with. It's fun to play with like a new length, a little bit more volume, a new style. So I hope that this helped you in your endeavors, but I hope they give you some ideas of how you can utilize them in your own hair. Uh, if you have any questions on this, maybe leave them in the comments down below. I will be answering. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button. If you're new here, you can hit that subscribe button and all of y'all should hit that bell icon so you can be notified every time I post a new video. But that's it for today. Whether you are old or new or casual lurker, thank you for spending time with me and I'll see you in my next video. Mwah! Bye! I don't know why my nose immediately starts itching as soon as I start filming. I'm gonna need some hair elastics. I also need bobby pins. Why do I not have anything that I need right now? Starts doing a hair tutorial. Has nothing. Hair over the... Rude!